It's a process that takes days and that's with crews working around the clock trying to make the ice perfect. Well, the ice conditions are everything. Um, from the player's perspective, they are looking for as perfect uh, an ice surface as they possibly can. This means paying attention to the details, scraping, pebbling, and constantly monitoring the ice temperatures. Uh, even our overnight temperatures are monitored very, very closely and it's uh, absolutely critical to the success of the event that we're able to do proper temperature monitoring. Now as you can see behind me, it is past midnight. The action is all over for today, but for the maintenance of this curling rink, it's ongoing. Bob Wanacott works in the arena year round. When the tankard hit town, it became his responsibility to log the ice temperatures overnight. Because we monitor them on a regular basis, we, you know, if, if something really drastically happened, we have a contractor on call 24 hours, we can, we can have them certainly come in and make adjustments or repair situations as needed. These ice makers are some of the best in North America, coming from all across the province, some even traveled from the U.S. For the most part, this crew has worked together for about 12 years, and we have done most of the provincials together as a team in the past 12 years. I thought I knew quite a bit before this event, but I've learned so much from these guys. They're just amazing. This ice crew brings experience, but also a tradition. Take a close look. That's a toonie in the ice. We'll take that toonie out of the ice. We will give it to the winning skip representing Ontario. It's our way of wishing them best of luck at the Briar. For these curlers, they know how important precision is. For the ice techs, they know it all begins with the surface. For your feature after five, I'm Robert Springett.